Good night. Another morning matters Monday. Na 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 na. Guys, if I tell you about a surprise that I have this week, man, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Three Kabu. I know you are new. So welcome. Welcome. You are first on. Tonight we will be joined. Yes. I'm going to say what the topic is, as you can see. It's ent is entertainment holding firm. Alright. Yes, send the request. We are warming up. Exactly 8.30. Welcome. Welcome, Mr. Johnny. Good night, good night, good night. This is to greet and welcome you to Know Your Money Matters. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. I, I, I wish I knew how, my, how, how much my money mattered a couple of years ago. <laughs> no, no well, well, what we're trying to say right now in a journey, is that with where the entertainment industry is going, we want to make sure that you are holding all your money firm right now. So listen to this sizzler. Listen to this sizzler. Welcome, everyone. Listen to this sizzler. International star, Johnny, daily with us. You agree with the sizzler? I will try to you agree with the sizzler? I don't hear the sizzler. You can't hear the sizzler? Cut it and let it start again. Johnny is saying, can't hear the sizzler. Sizzler is saying that money is the yeah. order of the day. And it has to be holding firm. So I know your money don't own, don't own the rights to sizzler content. But we have to introduce you in that way. My brother, okay. how's that been? You hear him now? Listen oh, now. Oh, oh, yes, man. Big son, like all right, all right. Money is the other of the day I was saying to you, Johnny. I am happy to have you on, my friend. The truth is, we have pinned the topic, and it's a entertainment holding firm. But we know it's not really so. Are you have to tell us? Is it so? Johnny, you need no interdict. You need none. Outside no, no, of no, being... No, You're good. If you want to lose me, you can do it still enough. Because you don't... <laughs> but we are... Well, well, guys. Guys, let me, let me tell you who Johnny daily is. Actor, comedian, radio, TV personality, theater practitioner, Lord Jesus. Jamaica's most outstanding stage talent. Whoa, starving rolling in Kingston. Johnny, oh, the list too long. Yeah, I see some things that I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I take claim final, but it's all right. I will take it, and no. I mean, problem. Well, is it wrong, Johnny? May I introduce? No, but as I say, a part of my thing is it's good to just be, hu be, be uh, go some humility in the business here, man. But take your glory when the glory time comes. My brother, that's what we know about you. That's why we watch you so much, and that's why we cheer for you so much. So I'm happy to be one of your fans. And I'm happy that you're giving the Know Your Money Matters fans the privilege of joining tonight. They are blown yeah. away. Well, I want to say good night to the folks who are joining. Uh, big up to so everybody that's watching wherever you're watching from. You don't know. Yeah, man, they are straight from the yard. I want a nice reason with um, the boss himself, you know what I mean? So, why wow, am I that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I can see Sean Biz. I have Canadian joining, Australian joining, African joining. Beautiful. British joining. All right. And some Jamaicans joining. Louisiana, Louisiana joining. Louisiana. But, eh? Louisiana. 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 Yeah. Are, uh, oh, and they were going through a little bit of storm from the last yeah. one. I, I guess, I, we hope they are, they are getting better. So, yes. you know, we say shout out to them. So that is it, Johnny. So, virtual entertainment, Johnny, yes. is on the right. Where is it going? 
Where is it going? You know, that's a good question. I mean, I, I can't tell you that I've been um, one of the big players in the virtual space. Um, it is something that I have actually ramped up now since COVID. Um, what I can say is that, I mean, I think once this, the space has opened up, I think people are getting used to um, watching entertainment online. And some folks are perhaps even going a step further in making sure that their experience um, in their homes of the online um, shows is such that is of such that it's like they're there. I mean, some folks are really going all out with those who can afford to set them house with the right kind of atmosphere and equipment to feel the energy. Um, but it is something, particularly in the Jamaican space, that is quite new. It is something that is really just where I think most of the market is adjusting to, including myself. So all right, so so you are adjusting. So there are there are, there are challenges right now facing the practitioners in terms absolutely, of absolutely. Like for, for instance, I mean, there's been no theatre really since March. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, the theatre community um, have not been able to function. Um, my shows, my stand-up comedy shows that I could normally keep and have a, a, a sizable audience, have been pretty much nil, null and void. So there's no... They, you, can't stand up virtual. you can't stand up virtual. Oh, right. virtual. You can't stand up virtual. So we're doing virtual shows. We have been doing some virtual shows um, yeah. recently. Yeah. And, and that's through Johnny Live Productions. But I'm talking about the general market. And the general market has been really, really hit hard by COVID. Uh, and a lot of people in Jamaica have not been able to make the transition, particularly in the industries that are lower tier in the arts. And I say lower tier because in Jamaica, most people when they hear arts, they think about music. Yes, yes. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're making that distinction. Right. I'm happy you're making that distinction. In Jamaica, when people hear about arts, the yeah. majority of people just think music. Um, yes. There, there are no other art forms that exist. Like, for instance, the dancing community um, have not been able to have a show. And there is a there is a dancing community in Jamaica, um, um, and there there are so many other small businesses in the creative arts that have not been able to function. Um, Ron Robbins, I mean, all kind of thing. Yeah. So, so you know what is funny? Today, the WHO said they are not promoting lockdown of economies. They are not doing it anymore. They want economies to open because country will get worse. You, yeah. you agree with that? Yeah, well, that's what, that's what economies are discovering. See, one of the things that people don't remember, right, is that, no, seriously, one of the things people don't remember um, is that we don't know what COVID really is, COVID-19. Yes. The, the research is still going on um, for those people who actually believe that. You know what I mean? I'm not a conspiracy theorist like that when it comes to these things. I follow, you know, what, what the information that's out there in terms of from the scientists yeah. and i'm saying that we they still they've admitted that they still don't know what covid19 is and how it affects people going forward and all of these things so or when it will end or when it will end when it will end right or so societies literally including the who remember say are human beings running place here, you know? yes, I'm not, man. are human beings like me i know some super intelligent gurus who know exactly what true, true. you know what i mean then i'm not the crystal ball up there so these technocrats come together and say, oh, we have a shutdown, this is how you deal with the thing. But I think governments generally overreacted initially for COVID-19. That's what my, that's, that's me personally. I think particularly in Jamaica, we went on a total lockdown within two weeks after March. I, I am telling you, that's why I am saying, I am happy. When, when, it, was just, when it was just a, hundred, a few hundred people, like not even, no, sorry. When it was just like 10 people, like, like 10 or so, 15 people, that was, that was, that was confirmed. We went into a total lockdown. Choking. We never passed a dozen. We never passed a dozen. Not in the vehicle zone. And we locked down the country. We locked down the country. Stopped the airport. It was, and even the citizens panicked. Like everybody was panicking because that was the information that the world was giving. That this is like we are watching from the world. We watch China. We watch Europe. And it finally reached. And we're like, oh God, locked down the country. We go to the supermarket. We didn't know what, what this thing was. But, but Johnny, you know one of the, one of the funny things? So the country was scared, or the leadership was scared. But guess what? 
persons in the entertainment industry. They are also scared of making the move now from physical to virtual. How yeah, we going to get them to yeah. Yeah, because, all right. In, 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 uh, like I said, the music and the musicians may be able to, to do that more because of the kind of monies that music mm. generates in Jamaica. So okay. it's easier for a man to sponsor a live show with a couple artists who are big, you know what I mean? Sizzla, Colangia, and you get Sasko, and you get a couple artists, and you have a show, a package where yeah. you know where you can sell virtually. Yeah. You get some sponsors readily for that. That sounds marketable and everything nice. Um, but for smaller players in the game who weren't equipped for the virtual space, so you don't own your own equipment or you don't yeah. have your own space because um, you've been renting a theater to put on your shows all these times, you don't own a theater space. Um, those persons are, are going to find it very difficult to, 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 to survive. What I've seen though, um, and it's so interesting. I've seen people who have started YouTube pages since COVID has started that they've monetized. Um, I don't know how far that money goes. I can't tell you because I'm not, I'm not um, so much using YouTube. But what I can say is that's a great thing. If they've been able to monetize their skits or move their plays into TV dramas or you, you, online dramas, um, yeah, they, like they have, I, you know, big up still. I can tell that that like Orville Expressions is doing that with with his people. Yeah, so so you have to move the followers online. That's what you have to be doing. Yeah, well, people doing it. You have to be people doing them journey. But we're not talking about people tonight. But you have to people them online. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know what people. Like, honestly, like I've heard the word pivot early, and pivot means to stand still, not stop. Like when we hear pivot, it means a tunnel. No, no, you have, you have to go the other way. You have to change. You have to do something different. That's, a, that's what pivot means? Your pivot yeah, you can't, yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. stand up. So you have to move the people them now from so when ask, inside so, of when the theater. Pivot, when they say a pivot foot in a, in, a, in a basketball, what that mean? Well, that's what makes... So when you have pivot your money, your money yeah. can't stand up one place. You have to make the money move. So you have to move the people them now from the table. Pivot, to me, pivot misleading. Not tell the truth. Like every time you hear the word, I say, what that mean? Can we, what do you mean by pivoting? What we can tell you is, I've had to be extremely uh, fluid. I've had to be fluid um, during COVID. Um, yes. Fluidity and, and creativity um, go, go hand in hand for me. So I, I've not really taken on the word. I hear the word pivoting, but me, I've been fluid in terms of how I've been able to survive and make my money. You know? All right, so Johnny, you're saying creativity is one of the hallmarks right now in pivoting. Of course. So you can't put your egg in one basket. Me go back to old times so or something, you know. Me, all you right. Know, in old time way. So me know, sir, you can't put your money in one basket. So all the people who are going to alone, uh, like me, I do stand-up comedy. Um, so mm -hmm. if I wasn't a multi-talented talented person on a different level, so I had a stand-up comedy, but I also do TV, and I also represent brands, um, commercial brands, you know, brands out there, and the C C A H O for, for Victor Mutual. Yeah. I also do radio. I'm a broadcast um, presenter, so I've been able to do some television broadcast presenting for some major events like um, the festivals, uh, just Jamaica South the festivals. I was able to, to be a national presenter on TV, representing that. that well, you have an experience. When you know what your skill sets are, then you can, you can, you know, try to get, get Baba Weave and do different things. And so you have people, then Johnny, Johnny, yeah. oh, I just want to welcome persons. I want to welcome Rakisha. I want to welcome Rashi. You are free to welcome some persons, Johnny. But you know, Johnny, you know, as a... You know, my, my crew at the place. All right, as an international media, yeah, yeah, international. Then. You yeah, have seen the journey of pivoting a long time because you just name about eight different things that you do and the amount of brands that you represent. You right. have your family already, right? So, yeah, well, I, I learned early, my brother, that there's in this business. I remember I started to freelance long before a lot of well, people were scared when I decided that I was going to leave the nine to five setup, you know what I mean? When I said, okay, I'm going to put all my energies into becoming, crafting what, what brand Christopher Johnny Daly was going to be and represent. I mean, I had to literally 
work on transitioning from being a child star actor on a television yeah. program um, to becoming the brand that I am today. Now, that's been a whole heap of work. I think a lot of people don't even understand how much effort that, that has been um, and the kind of work that you have to put in to maintain yourself and to be relevant. And also for people to realize that you can do a, a number of things and that you're, you're, for instance, if I talk right now in public, people don't have to see me, they know my voice. So yeah. that's something that you have to recognize as a, as a, that's part of your brand. Your, your literal sound, my voice, my cadence um, is, is a part of who my brand is. So, Johnny, I am going to say, so far, you have, you have been letting us know cre creativity matters, effort matters, to be yeah. relevant matter, and sh um, branding is also a big part of your, your, your portfolio. Absolutely. Your personal branding is very important. Um, and just like uh, if you see a brand as a business, then that's when you start to exploit that brand. You know, you start to look at all the different avenues that you can literally try to earn from. Okay. So, so, so but Johnny, yeah. with, with all of with all May I see you clearly? Yeah, may I hear you now? Where are you now? Yeah, man. I am saying to you that since COVID then, yeah. it, it means that it mean that your challenges might be a little bit different from a lot of other persons. Because you're getting over. You're getting over there with your No, it's been very challenging. I can tell you very, very challenging because I, I, I didn't know that COVID was going to happen. So like most people, I had you know your when you're balancing your economics, sometimes you make yeah. projections. So when I was, so pre-COVID, after an end of 2019, I had a lot of projections. And when I looked at my calendar, for instance, I saw that I had bookings, overseas bookings, <clears throat> well, well, well beyond half of the year, 2020. Which was a good look for me because it meant that all the work I put in, investing in going some places, even paying the way for myself yeah. um, just to showcase my talent was paying off. So it was devastating for me when February came, end of February, and I saw a literal cancellation of 100% of my bookings overseas and about 95% of my bookings locally. Whoa! So yeah, so yeah, talk about a total wipeout of all that income for me, and that has that has literally manifested the same way. So, so, so have you have you built a new product since then to know anything new? Yeah. So, what what what, pe what a lot of people are discovering is that at the end of twenty nineteen, yeah, um, going into twenty twenty, I had acquired a space um, because I was always trying to produce my own things online before. Yeah. And if you look at my Facebook page, for instance, the Johnny Life page, down the history, you will see that I actually did a live stream podcast that I started and ran that for about two years. Um, mm -hmm. And it was doing good with numbers. But I'd stop it because I was trying to acquire a larger space yes. not just to do the podcast, but also to do some theater in there and some stand-up comedy and have my own yes. show. Yes, so, ma'am. Yes. All through, it, in, despite, despite being hit 90% in terms of income coming in, I persevered to finish and complete Johnny's Place, which is that very place now that I've been able to record my virtual shows that I'm now putting out online. Praise so my brother. Yeah. Yes. Congrats. Also, also the website, johnnylifeproductions.com. It's complete. You can actually go there now, look at what's there. You can purchase merchandise. Um, you can support the shows as I put them out online because that's the portal that you go through to access my shows. And you, you can find out you know, about me, what I'm up to. Follow me on Instagram when I post. Um, on Instagram, you can follow that, that link live. So it's all about Johnny Live Productions right now. And also the fact that, I, for instance, last night we hosted... Um, 
the credit unions of Jamaica in the space for their virtual yes. show. So I've yes. even also rent the space because we have we have the, the bandwidth in terms of the digital bandwidth to carry yes. live shows for up to yes. three hours. I've equipped the place and literally kind of, as I said, pivoted, removed, just, just decided to <laughs> decided to use the space and, and, and rearrange the space into a virtual space. So yes. anybody that have a show, whether it's from music or theater, um, they can now rent the space. And I have a team of people that can record um, yes. or go live if they wish. So that's what I've been able to do since um, COVID. Johnny, let me tell you something. That's the spirit of an entrepreneur. You have had a vision and you put it together and you're just rolling it out now during COVID. You have the space, you have the teamwork, you have, you have, the, you have the, the facilities to just the, 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 the resources now to yeah. push it out. So, Tisla said, whole in firm, you have more than a whole firm. One of the most beautiful things that I've discovered about starting small is that you never know when you're going to use the equipment that you acquire along the way or, 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 or those, that little, those little investments that you've made in yourself. You never know when those things are going to become key for you. So um, invest in, in your business. Invest in I'm your saying. business. Invest in yourself. Yes. So, so when I started doing that little show in from the small studio, we invested in my, my own equipment. I bought my own stuff, my light, my sound. Um, I started investing in all these things. Now, a lot of those things are what I'm using to do what I'm doing now, you know, to enhance okay. the, in the bigger space. Johnny, Johnny we, we have, it seems like we have an, a, a young person who wants to join your space and they're asking you this question. How challenging will it be for you when things are back to normal? But I thought this was a new normal, but they're asking you, not me. Yeah, it, it won't be challenging at all. In fact, I was preparing for the normal. Um, so at the end of 2019, I was preparing for the normal. So the space would have been that space now that would have been available. And it still is that space available for parties, um, receptions, but I mean, whatever it is that you want to keep church, I don't care. I mean, we, we can accommodate you. Uh, if you want to have your wedding reception, you know what I mean? And then comedy shows, theater, entertainment. And that same space now is what I'm using to do virtual shows from because we can accommodate that. Johnny, I'm going to I'm going to say something again. You see, on this program, we don't take break. But listen to this one more time because I have to say something to you one more time. Listen to this one more time. Johnny, a big move that. All a in big time. move for that facility. Let me tell you something. You have been preparing for a very long time. Don't feel no way. The same thing from that child star. You had it in you, I may tell you, my brother. I'm proud of you. Because you the thing Listen, the thing nothing stay. comes easy, right? Um, and there are challenges every day. Um, I, and that song is very apt. That's a very appropriate song, my brother, because... You know, Thank you, man. What, what we have to do during a global pandemic, something that's affecting all of us is to hold firm and to also hold firm knowing that we have to look out for each other um, mm -hmm. because that's the name of the game. I, I found that support, um, rel yeah, so I've, I've learned that having solid people that yes. you can always rely on um, and who, who, you, who, you, who you have a mutual, mutually beneficial business relationship and friendship with who are solid. Yes. Those are the people that you, you realize step up during a time like this. Well, well people, one thing I'm telling you, you the bad thing about this program. You see this program, it is very interactive. So you see every follower, from Know Your Money Matters, we'll be following you tonight. I am telling you. Who don't know you? I appreciate them. I follow appreciate all the folks who Everyone. care. Everyone. Because, Johnny, you're leaving us with some things, you know, that look here, you know, man. You have to look out for each other. And as Jamaicans, sometimes we forget that, you know. We forget that. No, uh, right now I can tell you, the biggest thing that I'm seeing in Jamaica that I hate is the fact that COVID has also 
much just there's release the ugly side of people which is selfishness <laughs> so yeah sure so you have a lot of people who are just selfish generally and covid has released that right now and you see people for who they really are like so all the people are kind during the day and they yeah. really take time out to ask you how you're really doing like you have people who say yeah right and them just expect you to say yeah man but if them really want to know if you're all right them, yeah. they, or they don't really want to know because then you're going to say boy no you know, you know really all right because sometimes you're not all right give me a thing now them know why you give them, them yeah, give me a thing now yeah well honestly with me and how me roll my it's not even about you know give me a thing like sometimes you know met who met about like you're going through a rough day whether it's financially or or business wise or whatever it is and if somebody asks you if you're all right like if you give them an honest answer yeah. <laughs> yeah. they're not prepared for it Whew. well johnny i am telling you time is moving we have a rough my nine-year-old said in official him artwork seeing that that uh, i'm married daily he's nine years old look here no but man the pieces up on the wall to show you no we need to see him so this no man we need to see him this is my nine-year-old's drawing um and he's been improving right through covid too so he's been no. very busy himself no but johnny johnny yes, we sir. need to see him no know your money matters we need to see him introduce him to know your money matters viewers and your viewers we need to see him where is he yeah man tell him say, me to make sure some publishing thing when i'm ready you know but you can't stop him that's an that's an artist in the that 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 is not even the making you know he's made already i just yeah, for your man, broom eh? but thing, man. seriously you, 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 you know you know johnny what I want to ask you right now, right, is you're a very funny character. How hard is it for you? No, no, no seriously. Because it's since day I realized that comedy is when you can draw the joke on the spot. I never understand yeah. that was comedy. And every time somebody hear Johnny, whether radio or TV, you make people crack, crack up. It, it, you know, it's a natural talent. Or you, you, you'd have to, to, to groom it and... You know, yeah, everything, every it's important. Like I was, I was naturally when I started in this business. I mean, you don't get on a TV show at ten years old if you don't have some yeah. kind of natural ability. Um, so I can tell you that early in my community that I lived in Kingston, I was the go-to youth where mash up every community event, um, with a enter dancing competition and win. Um, could I recite all the poems the man the nursery rhymes that we, we had at school? Mm -hmm. Those things I gravitated to easily. So by the time I was discovered at Harper Tree Primary School um, by, by the drama teacher and won the first medal, the very first play that I did, the very first play I was a lead role, me win goal, everything. Every, I mean, that was the beginning of everything. So that was natural there was there was a natural ability there but i've learned that there's because it's the creative arts like you can never stop learning from the creative art okay there, there's infinite possibilities when it comes to creativity and there's always a lesson to learn you know there's some great comedians that i wish i had even half the measure of talent that they had because it's their insight, it's the way they see things, it's the way how their mind work that intrigues me. Um, and, you know, we've had some great talented people here in Jamaica too. People like Charles Hyatt, for instance. A lot of people don't talk about Charlie. As a Oliver. comedian or one of the greatest yeah. but Oliver don't like to the stand-up comedy but he's great uh -huh. when he when he holds a mic and decides to give you an entire monologue anyway he's, I've seen yes. him do it um so but he's never he's never really stood out as a stand-up comedian he's really a comic actor and there's a difference so 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 basically Johnny you would rather to be in front of a live audience or you rather the film oh, or yes, there's nothing, nothing comes close to a live audience. Absolutely nothing. 
the human spirit, I don't think we're designed to be separated at all. I think okay. we're, we're definitely social creatures and, and designed to interact and to connect physically and every other way. So when you can hear, remember, you know, the, the greatest joy for me as a stand-up comedian is to see, see my audience teeth, to see people smiling, yes. and to, to hear actual laughs coming from their mouths. I can tell you that the, the, the thing that unnerves me the most about the online performance is yes. I can't hear when people are laughing. And, and, and then even the other day I was doing a show during COVID, and everybody had their masks on, and I couldn't see nobody smiling. I couldn't see a team. <laughs> So I was like, Ugh, are they enjoying this performance? I don't know. These people, I, I, they, I felt like Trump at a point. I wanted to say, take your mask off. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I, I just decided. You, you know what? This is funny, Johnny. I want to know if any of your teachers has, well, has ever called you a joke at school. I just want to know. I just want to know. Yeah, man. I've been, listen, I've been called a joke many times by many of my chief teachers because they know... One of the things that people don't know about me, though, is that I, I took school very seriously. I mean, particularly high school, uh, my later years. But I was a fun student, I think, to be around. Mm. So, um, yeah, I was, I, I took pride in, listen, I took pride quite a long time ago, knowing that being who I am was going to be a way of easing people's, you know, you know how people view me. And to just make things more, you know, not, you know, people just get more comfortable around yeah. me. But also, Johnny, Johnny, yeah. your virgin is a big joker. Big joker. Big joker from long time. My virgin is no star, so I'm from long time. Listen, big I was, joker. I was never that high youth at school. And I was always the youth who I try to make sure that everybody knows. Welcome to know your money matters, monkey and firebank oh. 11. Welcome. You have Firebanks, your big of yourself, my general. International star, Johnny in the party. Yes. Well, well, Johnny, I am happy that you took what they say to you, that you were a joker, understood yeah. your rule, and you transferred that into wealth creation, my friend. Because guess what? A lot of us misuse our talent, you know, and you monetize your talent. And this is what Know Your Money Matters is all about. You have yeah, something good going, find it. And guess what? Capitalize on it. That's what it's about. So you yes. tell me what you can but my brother, there's, listen, I, I posted something this morning. And I said, the, the worst thing you can be in life is, the worst thing you can do is not try. Like, I don't understand I who don't try. I responded to it. I responded to it. And I said, every time I definitely, one of the two, I responded to so it, I man. I don't understand people who don't try. Like, if you don't try, how are you going to know? Like, that's, that, that's the first thing. It, it feeds your curiosity. You know what I mean? The minute you try something. Um, but... I think I've always been trying, and in trying, you know, I used to, I used to sell sweets when I was in primary school, you know. That's the entrepreneur side. Look here, no man. We tell the art. We tell you, know, Johnny, you have everything. You are yeah, right. Yeah, man. That was a long time. All right, right now during COVID, um, we we had a, we had a motor vehicle that we had for the business, uh, for, for production. Um, mm. we, we bought that motor vehicle to do the to carry equipment and you know, to carry on things and so. And there's no production going on. So what yeah. we do? We sell food, you know. Where, what kind of grub provision you want all the time? We deliver, we deliver the food to your house and drop it out. But, but, but this is, so no, you under, you don't want to use the word pivot. Man, you pivot, you pivot a long time. You know, see, me call it, me, me call it, me call it pivot, and I say I'm fluid, you know. I, whatever it is, I can do for turning it down, you know, brother. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to be boxed in by this pandemic here, you know. No, but that's the entrepreneurial spirit, you know. The vehicle, yeah. there is no production for the vehicle. Then guess what? You know, use it for carry goods, man. You yeah, have to find some for the vehicle, man. The vehicle can't sit on a loop on you and a loop on the vehicle. They hold the whole day, what happened there, sir? But, 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 Johnny, you see, if the vehicle stay there, it now becomes a liability, you know. What you have done is to take it from being a liability back to an asset. It's back making asset. money for you. That's what you've been doing, you know, making money for you. Because... A lot of persons think that why have a vehicle is an asset. It don't have to be an asset, you know. It can be a liability you look on if it's not making more for you than what you had put in there. A liability, my brother. Hold on, yes. hold on, Johnny. We have to take this one. Um, dedicated you from a long time. Very hard working. Why? Johnny, you're not paying for them things. Yeah. You're no, not paying. All right. 
I, I, that's why I can't pay for, it, for these things. You know, I, I tell people all the time. <laughs> you see, the Jamaican people and the, the audience worldwide, the audience knows who you are, you know. Once you take the time to do research, people over time if they follow you. They, especially in my line of career. Because as a yeah. stand-up comedian, a part of who you, if, if you're more successful, if you're, you speak your truth, if people realize that when you go on the stage, you're giving them a piece of yourself every time. And that's a key part to me of being a good stand-up, is that people must leave feeling that they know something about you when you leave the stage. They've discovered something about you. So, it's, so, it's, so for instance, people have seen that and then realize that, but that's how I keep working, brother. I've, I've been to pay. I have three children. I'm going to three different tiers of the education spectrum. One in prep school, one in high school, one at university. So, you know, so there's holy for responsibilities. Uh, well, yeah. well, Anjali, how are you navigating the space with the online education now for the younger one? I want to know because we have parents, we have parents here tonight who oh, some... That's, yeah, that's, that's, a whole new topic. that's a whole new topic, my brother, because I can tell you that I am now seeing the effects. Now, my, my son has started his, his pet preparations. And I'm now seeing the effects of how much online learning um, can affect his development. Because okay. what we're dealing with is a situation where we have not trained or prepared the teachers or the system for online learning. So it, it, sure. it's way beyond the fact that a lot of students don't have the equipment and it's the resources. The the it's way, the way beyond resources. It's also way beyond the fact that our, the companies or our, our, our providers aren't even ready at all yet to provide <laughs> Wi Fi for everybody. So it, 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 it also has to do with the fact that the system has not been adjusting to, to get teachers up to scratch. A lot of teachers, and they're not admitting it, but there are a lot of teachers who only know about chalkboard and. and, and and yeah, the preparation time was a little bit too short. Too it's short. been challenging. But remember, school has been out for quite some time. So I think there should have been some visionary thinking and some just hard decisions made to say, look, this is the, the direction that we're going in and this is the type of thing that we need to do to get there. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they can get it right because I'm seeing some teachers struggle and I'm seeing my son um, who's the youngest one, as, as brilliant as he is so far, I'm seeing that he's not being engaged. It's not about him either. It's that he's not being engaged the way in-person um, lessons. That's why, I asked you about, that's why I asked you about the youngest one. You know, it was a reason because I know the challenge is more on the, on, yeah. on the younger ones and the bigger ones. That's what I can, yeah. I can tell you. Because, yeah. The older ones, like my high school student, Yes. They already started the online learning. Um, yes. In fact, I was yes. pleased that their high school, no, her high school, yes. my alma mater, yes. Arden High School, started online learning before. So they're kind of just doing it more now. Yeah, Casey, Casey started to join here. Casey started my son, to here. My son went to Casey, my <laughs> eldest. Don't worry. Fourth is for life. <laughs> All right, Johnny, let me tell you something. It, it's, 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 it's 40 minutes. We promise that we take up this much of your time to share with us. Oh, yeah. That we need to know. And let me tell you something. There are some serious takeaways that I want to repeat it for you. Correct me? That you must be yourself. The people know who you are. Yes. You must look out for each other. Your branding matters. You must use effort in what you're doing. You must be relevant. And oh my God. I'm telling you. It's, 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 thank you for being such a wonderful co-host, Johnny. Um, as I said, I know they will be following you. And any opportunity for your online, your next online production, you want to tell us that, and then you can take it. Absolutely. Up. Just go to my website, johnnyliveproductions.com. Go to it, subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll be getting all our um, relevant information, responses, um, um, info about upcoming shows. We have two shows, in fact, that we've recorded already virtually, and we're going to post them back for um, Heroes Weekend sometime coming up in October. Um, yes. So look out for 
much more. We have, in fact, from Johnny's place, um, which is all, all under the brand, Johnny Light Productions, I'm going to be bringing other shows, music shows. Um, I'm, I'm actually looking to produce some um, TV type content shows, game shows um, from the space. I'm trying to fully utilize the moment um, to link, link, make partnerships to ensure that we're producing content. Because I think content is king right now. There's so many content um, providers and people who want to expose stuff. Yes, content yeah. is king. So I'm going to be providing more content from Johnny's place. So yes. we can generate income from the space, but also put that content to the world. Well, Johnny, entertainment is important, especially during this rough time that people are, are going through. So we need to and we need as much material out there that they can use sometime and access it. Just, just, just make sure the, the price is right. Just make yeah, sure the price is right. We're not shooting nobody in our leg, man. We are the man, the general man. But you don't know what one thing I want to encourage people who are watching is it be, a part of the new norm, particularly for people in Jamaica. I know that those living overseas are much more used to using their credit cards online and yes. making purchases online and so on. Yes. A lot of Jamaicans have been skeptical about that. You know, Jamaica State, some people they have my bank account in Jamaica. Them, they, 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 yes, they, that is true. Some people, them, some people don't trust nothing, you know what I mean? So yeah. it, it's kind of, I know that it's, it's getting some used to, but particularly my Jamaican audience need to get used to using the online platform to pay for the show. Um, okay. you know, Supported the, the show, so so you have a simplified payment platform that they can use. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Once you go on my website, as I said, once you go on the website johnnylineproductions.com, everything you're directed to do everything quick and easy, and all is well. All right. Well, Johnny, I thank all of your viewers for joining us and know your money matters. Another exciting night. We're talking to one of Jamaica's international. Not only international star, he's an entrepreneur, educator, TV presenter, reader. Johnny, take it out. I can't talk no more. No, so yeah. somebody is telling me that saying that it's very challenging. So true, Johnny, especially when there are older teachers who really don't know how to use the technology and how well it's very challenging. No, it's very, very challenging. Um, big up Morgan, um, Morgan UK car imports. I'm a real general from my school days to one of my, one of my brethren who is also a top entrepreneur um, who has, trust me, them man, they are real hustlers from a long time. One of you, them can link, but I reason with them as a, as a hustler yeah. and a businessman myself. So that's what I talk about. You need some people in your corner where you, where you know it's a solid, you know, solid rock where you can say, yo. Yeah, yeah. You, you have a team. You have a kind of team up. You have your own yeah. candy. Yeah. So they yeah. have to be proud. Yeah, man, you have your own And that's why I'm a big you up before I leave, sir. I'm a, that's my final word. I have to make you up because what I say is know your money and you're dropping education and knowledge. And that's what we need. We as black people need more is how we are going to deal with money. Every little cent matters. You know? I kept a round robin the other day and I mentioned on my link, I look, look up on my, my, my bar list. And then I said, Johnny, how are you doing? How are you going like you want to charge the people? So charge them in a car. One time you keep, keep the fish fry. You know? Every day you keep the fish fry. Man say, hey, so what if it costs more? And I may mean, say, yo, but remember, say you are spending money. I say, I support you today. Because I say, after ah, tomorrow, we don't know what's going on. But no. <laughs> no, you can't go for the kid in a one day. You can't so go for the kid in a one day. So what he, but what he taught me was, yo, today is the only day you're keeping the special event. You know, today is the only day you're keeping the special event. Yeah. If people are going to support you, they will support you today in a way sure. that they wouldn't support sure. you so much tomorrow. It was a key so, thing that you taught me, you know what I mean? So, well, that's what I say. Big ups to all the folks who've been watching, who've enjoyed, um, and actually pick up something, because that's what it's about. We have to share more, you know? So, remember, Johnny's Place is available too. And go to johnnylightproductions.com. Follow yes. me on Instagram, at chrisjohnnydaily. Yes. Uh, next time, people. DM me. We're ready to do some work. Yes. I, got, I want to big up Rakisha, Melissa, Kim Samson from this side. And we're taking it out because I never big them up before. Big up for Tachi, big up to Yannick Lactin, and I see Daily Carl also Daniel, Lactin. This is not a big up program. It's not a big up program. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great night, sir. Over, out, my brother. Thank you again. All right.